Welcome to the Potter training video on the AFC series of fire alarm control panels. Potter's AFC series of fire alarm control panels are a non-proprietary line which were available at many alarm distributors and carry a five-year warranty. All addressable panels are equipped with QuadraSync technology, which allows the use of different manufacturers' notification appliances on separate circuits and still have synchronization of the strobes. All Potter's panels are equipped with a PCOM port, which can be used to send and receive emails and can act as an IP communicator to report to a central station. All AFC Siri panels are listed for releasing and will support pre-action sprinkler and Deleuze applications. The ARC100 Agent Releasing Control Panel supports both water and agent releasing applications. The AFC1000 is Potter's large format panel and has a large display, a 10 amp power supply, 6 NAC and 4 I.O. circuits, and can support 128 P-Link accessory cards. It also includes built-in SLC, which supports 127 devices, but is expandable to a total of 1,270. The AFC 1000 comes equipped with a 4 line by 40 character display. On the right-hand side of the control panel is the PCOM port, which is the built-in Ethernet jack that is used to upload and download panel programs, send and receive emails, and communicate with the central station. Below that, there are four I.O. or input-output circuits. Each I.O. can be configured as a contact input monitoring point or NAC output rated at 1 amp. Along the bottom of the AFC 1000 are the system-wide trouble, supervisory, and alarm Form C relays, battery charging terminals, connections for six NAC circuits rated at 3 amps each, and two isolated P-Link connections rated at 1 amp each. The built-in SLC terminals are on the far right-hand side. The AFC 1000 comes in a larger enclosure with room to mount six stacker bracket P-Link accessory cards. The AFC and ARC 100 are two of Potter's small format panels that have a smaller display, a 5 amp power supply, two NAC and two I.O. circuits, and can support 64 P-Link accessory cards. They include a built-in SLC which supports 100 devices and they are not expandable. The AFC 50 is another of Potter's small format panels that has a smaller display, a 5 amp power supply, and two NAC and two I.O. circuits and can support 64 P-Link accessory cards. It includes a built-in SLC which supports 50 devices and is not expandable. The smaller format panels are all built on the same PCB. Along the bottom of the panel are the connection terminals. On the far left are the battery connection terminals, followed by the system-wide trouble, supervisory, and alarm Form C relays. In the middle are the two I.O. circuits rated at 1 amp each. To the right of those are two NAC circuits rated at 3 amps each. There is also a single P-Link circuit followed by the SLC terminals. There is a significant difference in the LCD display size as the smaller panels only have a 2 line by 16 character display. In the top right corner is the PCOM port. In the enclosure for the small format panels there is no space for stack or bracket accessory cards. An accessory enclosure is required when installing these cards on a smaller format panel. Now let's talk about installing the control panels. All panel enclosures are made of 16 gauge sheet metal. Always mount control panels on an interior wall so that it is easier to maintain the correct operating temperature and humidity. The large format panel can be flush mounted while the small format panels are surface mount only. A separate trim ring is not required for the large panel to be flush mounted since the dead front is slightly larger than the main enclosure. These enclosures all have a top center keyhole that makes it substantially easier for one person to hang. Potter control panels can be powered with either 120 or 240 VAC, which is field selectable. The voltage selection jumper is located to the left of the AC wiring terminals. The AC wiring terminals are labeled B for the black or hot wire, W for the white or neutral wire, and G or green for the ground wire. The control panel enclosure can house 8 or 18 amp hour batteries, but they are not deep enough for 12 amp hour batteries. All Potter panels can charge up to 55 amp hours of batteries. For additional questions about Potter products, please contact technical support at the phone number or email address shown on the screen. And as always, don't forget to follow us on social media.